Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna tow a trailer with your Toyota CHR, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. So let's go ahead and break down that install for you. All right, this can be a more difficult install, so you wanna make sure that you have enough time to do it. We're gonna be accessing the taillight harnesses behind each of the taillights. So to get access to those, we're gonna go through the panels and we're gonna start by removing the floor coverings. Next, we'll go ahead and remove the spare tire. Next, we're gonna remove the two side panels by taking out this tab. We'll just use a screwdriver to loosely take it out and it'll pop right out. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Next, we're gonna remove the center scruff panel. Now we're gonna remove the two screws on both sides using a 10 millimeter socket. And we'll repeat on the passenger side cargo hook. With the cargo hooks removed, we're just gonna go ahead and pull up and set it aside. All right, next we're going to pull back the side panel starting on the driver's side. There's a couple clips inside that we're going to remove and we're just gonna use our trim panel removal tool to pry those out. And then we'll repeat on the passenger side. All right, next we're going to remove the tail light panel co covering. And we're just gonna pull out on that and it has those clips right there. And then we'll remove the two screws in the tail light using a 10 millimeter socket. And then we'll go ahead and remove the tail light by sliding it towards the rear of the vehicle. And then we'll unplug it and set it aside. And we'll repeat on the passenger side tail light. All right, now back on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and pull out our grommet. And then we're gonna need to cut a slit in the grommet to allow our trailer wearing harness to pass through. Now we're gonna take our T-connector with the yellow wire and we're gonna run it behind the panel. And we're gonna pull it through to our tail light harness. And then we'll take our T-connector harness and we'll push it through that slit in the grommet. And then we'll plug in our T-connector harness into the tail light harness. And then we'll use the provided black silicone to seal that slit. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. And we will use the green T-connector for the passenger side. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and ground our trailer wiring harness. Now there's already a ground right here that the vehicle uses, so we're just gonna use this existing bolt. And we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket to remove it. And then we're gonna put our ground in and reattach the bolt. All 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and hook up our power wire to the black wire on the converter box. And we're gonna use a heat shrink buck connector to attach those. And then we'll use our butane torch to go ahead and use the heat shrink. All right, next, before we put our panels up, we're going to decide what we're gonna do with our four flat wire. Now, if you want to leave it in the trunk area, you can do so right here with the spare tire. We're going to route ours towards our hitch. So we're going to go through this vent on the side. And we're just going to take our four flat and push it through. And that will bring it down to the hitch. And then we'll put our driver's side panel back into place. And then we'll plug in our tail light on the driver's side. And then we'll screw it back in. And then we'll put our tail light cover back on. And then we'll repeat on the passenger side. Clean up this green wire by securing it to this loom. And then we'll reinstall our center scruff panel. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall the two cargo tie downs. All right, next we're going to bring our power wire and we're gonna bring it through this grommet down below. We're gonna follow that loom. And we're just gonna cut a small slit and then we'll push our power wire down. And then we'll go ahead and seal that slit with some more silicone. And then we'll put our floor panelings back in. And then we'll put the spare tire back in. And then we'll put our floor paneling back in. All right, uh, now that we have all the paneling into place, we're gonna go ahead and pull it up on the ramps to show you the best way to route the power wire. So the grommet that we pushed our wire through, if you look on the driver's side rear suspension spring, if you just follow that, you'll see the grommet where the wire comes out from. And when it comes down, it'll come right by these panels right here. Now, we're, now that we have our wire pulled all the way through, we're gonna go ahead and run it to the battery at the front of the vehicle and the engine compartment. Now, as we do that, there's a couple things we wanna keep in mind. We wanna keep it away from anything hot like the exhaust or anything that's moving that will tear the wire and cause damage to our vehicle. All right, so we've determined that the best way to route our power wire to the engine compartment is to follow these panels right here. And we'll just come underneath all of them 
until we reach all the way to the firewall. Now we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver. Here we're going to take out this push pin and we'll just put our wire behind it and then we'll put the push pin back up into place. Okay, so on this, using a flathead screwdriver, we're gonna remove these two twist fasteners and this one push pin. And then that'll give us room where we can zip tie to the brake lines. And then at the end, there is a bolt that we'll remove and we'll use a 10 millimeter socket and then we'll pull the rest of our wire through. All right, now that we've reached the bottom of the firewall, the brake lines that are underneath this panel keep going up into the engine compartment and they actually come up right next to the battery. So we're just gonna take the rest of our power wire and we're gonna feed it up following the brake lines and then we'll pull it through the engine compartment. All right, and the engine compartment on the driver's side is where the battery is located. Right behind is where all the brake lines come up. So if you just reach down where we pushed up that wire, and then we'll make sure that we pull it nice and tight. All right, now that we have our power wire nice and tight, we're gonna secure it with a zip tie to the already existing battery wires. So we're gonna go ahead and trim our power wire as we have a lot of leftover wire. And then now we're gonna go ahead and connect our fuse holder to our power wire. And we're gonna use a heat shrink buck connector. And we'll use our butane torch to use the heat shrink. And then on the other side of our fuse holder, we'll go ahead and attach our ring terminal. We'll do the heat shrink on the ring terminal. And then we'll take the battery terminal cover off. And we're going to attach it to the battery post right here. And we're gonna remove that nut using a 12 millimeter socket. And then we'll place our ring terminal on from the fuse holder and we'll reattach the nut. And then we'll take our included 10 amp fuse and insert it in the fuse holder. And then we'll tuck it behind the battery and then we'll put our terminal cover back on. All right, now that everything is plugged in, we're gonna go ahead and grab our four flat harness. Now, when we dropped it through the vent, it's gonna come up right underneath, underneath uh, right above this panel. So if we reach in above it, should be able to grab it and pull it out. If not, you might have to lower the panel to be able to reach it. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and mount our four flat bracket. Now, a lot of people will leave it dangling next to the hitch. Don't leave it dangling. It can get caught on something and cause a lot of damage to your wiring. So we're gonna go ahead and use a four flat bracket. Now this is not included with the kit. So this is U-Haul part number CQT118144. We're gonna go ahead and 
Mount it right here on the side. And using the bracket as a template, we're gonna drill the holes for the screws. Now we're gonna put our included screw into that hole. And we'll tighten up the first one with the provided nut. And with it in place, we can drill the second pilot hole. And then we'll tighten it with a 10 millimeter socket. And then we'll slide our dust cover over our harness. And then we'll put it into the bracket. And then we'll tuck the rest of the wires back into the underbody panel. Now we're gonna secure our extra wires with the zip tie just to our hitch. All right guys, that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or visit us at uhaulhitches.com.